się rozpoczyna. Alaska. That's it. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with a no on the A there, buddy. Dude, stop fucking spamming. It's annoying as shit. So they're on that side, okay. Shut up. Why am I not going full speed? You got caught, sunny boy. Super truck like there's no tomorrow. Oh, 
Maszyna objęła prowadzenie. See the AP? Oh, it does a shit ton of superstructure, but that's it. He's gonna ram. Very skillful play. No, he's not. Good dodge, good dodge. Oh, it actually looked like you both avoided the ram. Should be enough smoke here. That's fucked. DPM machine. DPS, I guess. Zwycięstwo jest na wyciągnięcie ręki. See if we can go uh, eat some more damage. We've got the cap, five defense. Two ships killed on our flank. Our team did a decent job of holding on the other side. Well, never mind. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. We'll see if it pays off for him. Sailing broadside. He's going to get yeeted before I can even get there. And he's out of here! Could have went in Cap A, but nah. Let's go for the damage. Man, stop sailing away from me. Really, Shima? Oh, we still have AP loaded. Oops. Doubt we're gonna do anything at this range, but... I wish I got the players that these guys are getting when I'm in uh, battleships, sailing completely flat broadside to them. Pushing into them, sailing flat broadside. See how auto-aim does. This guy doesn't get yeeted for, uh... Before I can even get there.
We're just secondary build, okay? Why you bully me? Game's over. Yikes. Three K base XP game. I think that the, that will be the one that we go ahead and throw on the YouTube. GG's to everyone on our team. Well played. Three kills. Uh, one assist and cap, five defense. Nothing astonishing. 330 gun hits. It's the rule of threes. Look at that. Three fires, three destroyed, three detected, and 330 gun hits with a 3k base XP and three kills. Do I need to play the lottery? Three, 33, 13. Uh, let's go ahead and go over the ship stats and the commander. We are running Swirsky. Uh, as you guys can see there, I don't need to go over the traits. You guys should know Swirsky pretty well. You will get Swirsky if you buy out the campaign or if you complete the campaign and get the Friesland. Um, same goes for the Lo Yang. We will be doing a whole separate video on that. This is what we're running. No concealment mod and no double rudder. I don't think it's necessary. I like being able to stop and start when I need to. Uh, you will have a 2.8 rudder even with that perk that reduces it. Um... Yeah, so survivability with Sims is 20,260. Artillery, 120 millimeter guns. As you saw, the AP was effective against very close range targets and the superstructure of battleships. Um, I shot a Fletcher, though, slightly angled at about six, seven kilometers, and it bounced. So be careful. Make sure it's completely broadside DDs or uh, just shoot HE. The HE is rather effective on this boat with an 8% fire chance, but with the DPM you're shooting, you can get 100 shells off in like you know, a, a minute, so it's, that's eight, that should be eight fires, you know, um, regardless, uh, pretty decent fire chance, uh, in, in some games, others, you know, it's, it's RNG dependent, AA defense, uh, the game before this, I had 38 plane kills, which you guys will see at another time, uh, so it can be incredibly, incredibly useful, uh, against carriers, uh, again, but something that a lot of you should already know, and some of, you know, you guys should know is there's no torpedoes in here, you see, the torpedoes are usually right here, this boat does not have torpedoes, so do not be expecting a tor you know, any torpedoes. But I don't want to see it on the Facebook post, like, oh, it's torpedoes. <laughs> yeah, no. 37.1, not top speed with a flag. I think it's 36 without the flag. So you're not blazing at any pace, but you're not uh, slugging along at 33 like the Akazuki there. Turning circle is decent at 620. That's actually pretty good. Uh, and the rudder shift time is 2.8. One thing I did notice, though, in, like, I like to J-hook or, you know dive into a cap first and then turn around so I can, um, you know, get out of the cap much quicker than I go in, you know, than reversing. And when dodging torps in reverse, you, it does not want to do that. Uh, I can do that in a lot of other DDs, but just this one was, I've already eaten two torps in reverse today. So um, that combined with a 6.2 concealment without concealment mod is you've got yourself a pretty damn good open water gunboat. Uh, beyond that, carry potential is not really there, especially for the average player. And I don't mean to insult anyone, but if you think you're going to go out and have a 3K base XP game every single game, you're just not. That's my first excellent game of the day. Um, and the other, vi you know, I've had good games, 100K damage, you know, really trapping DDs with the sonar. The game you'll you'll watch with the 38 plane kills, I I really trapped a gearing with the with the hydro. Um, which I'll show you guys right now. It's 4.4 of ships and 3.1 of torpedoes. So very effective utilities, a long smoke screen, uh, two, you know, over two minutes there, and, you know, an engine boost to get you up like 38, 39, I think. Um, you know, n nothing, uh, like we said, nothing blazing, but enough to, to, to do the job. You know, you couple that with a, you know, a, a team that's going to play well and spot for you, and you've got a pretty, pretty fun boat to play. It's also just a good-looking boat as well. I think it was at the Dutch flag. Um, but yeah, it's just a mean-looking boat. Strong AA suite, like we mentioned, and, and uh, you know, a good overall uh, destroyer for what it is. You know, it's, it's a gunboat, anti-DD, open-water gunboat, harass battleships. Uh, if you're expecting, you know, some stealthy IJN stuff, then you've got the wrong ship by, by a lot of stretches. If you can play the Kaba well, then you can play this thing well. Um, but if you are if you struggle with the Kaba, you will struggle with this. You need to utilize island cover. You need to be 
you know, mindful of your surroundings. We almost got caught by a conk there, but thankfully our conk was pushing in and we utilized our smoke screen to our advantage. Um, other than that, I think, you know, it's a fun boat. I think this is going to be my pick over the low Yang. Only one game in the low Yang so far, uh, and it wasn't really a great game. Uh, I think the commander is kind of off-putting for me, but, you know, it looks like they're trying to develop that line, so hopefully more commanders are, are coming down, coming soon. Guys, that's the video. Let's go ahead and look at the overview. Um, the armor, you don't need to see it. It's it's a tin can. Uh, I've taken a lot of nasty salvos from HE, so you got to be careful. Reloader, tough and full circle. I don't know how accurate tough is, but, you know, it's tough. Um, and the, the 360 turrets do help a lot. Uh, basically, once you start the game, that, that, that rear turret is always in the correct position. So you can turn left, you can turn right. It's, uh, it's, it's nice to have, so... The lead, sip, sh lead ship in a series of submarine hunters used by the... D okay, Dutch Navy, good. The ship carry out various anti-submarine weapons as well as pieces of armament post-war period. Yeah, it's so anti-sub that uh, Wargaming has adapted to, uh, to fit into this game. But uh, I like it. You know, it's a, it's a nice wrinkle to the game. I think it took way too long to get these type of ships in, but I'm, I'm thankful that they're here. Um, you know, it sounds like they listen, but it takes them about eight months to listen so <laughs> um you know we'll, we'll be thankful when we can but you know we're still gonna call i still gotta call it like i see it i think that's all there is to talk about uh yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed that video that first look um yeah let me know what you guys think down below are you gonna get the ship are you gonna get the low yang uh we will be doing a video on the low yang but i think like you said this is going to be my pick um just because of how unique it is so hopefully the jutland or whatever the tier 10 is isn't you know coming soon as well in the legendary tier but uh, we really need more cru cruisers right now legendary tier guys like subscribe let me know what you think comment down below hey, aaron out peace